In the last few years, all conventional answers to the problems faced by the world of business or politics or society have been largely proven wrong and discarded. I think predicting a scenario for an entire decade ahead is therefore rather futile. So maybe let, let's talk about forces that are converging today, forces which are likely to shape the coming years. If I look around myself, I actually see a perfect storm growing. A perfect storm is something where all problem elements come together which were not supposed to come together, but they are still converging somehow. This perfect storm has four elements in what I think. The first element is the unrest in the macroeconomic world. The US economy is struggling in the face of political inaction. European political leadership seems to be in the denial mode of the European crisis. China is going through slow growth and increasing inflation. India remains frozen into inactivity on major policy decisions despite increasing inflation. Middle East is unable to rejuvenate its economy and hence help the world because of changing governance models. And Japan is also struggling with debt on GDP. That was the first element. The second element of the perfect storm is the emergence of immersion. The word globalization in the past was usually defined as West moving to the East and opening the markets. However, the equation today stands actually reversed and hence the competition scenario from East to West and West to East which exist and will exist in the foreseeable future is so intense that we have never ever seen this before. The third element is a changing consumer. With Gen Y becoming a significant force in the markets brought together by social networks, the consumption landscape is changing in more dramatic ways than we have ever seen before. And with this change in the consumer and market dynamics, the products, the services as we know them today is also changing dramatically or has to change dramatically. The fourth and the final element of the perfect storm is the changing employee. Gen Y workforce is a new, highly engaged, interactive generation born in the age of online gaming, Orkut, Facebook, MySpace, YouTube, is driving a wave of participative cultural change where transparency is a given. When you put all these four elements together, what you get is a perfect storm. Perfect storms are indeed tough to navigate. But remember, a strong gust of wind can both destroy and also create. Unbridled, it can create havoc. But when you approach it with a turbine, it can actually power up a whole village. I'm sometimes inspired by what the truly great racetrack drivers say. They have performed best when all the predicted elements of the race have changed without warning. Stormy weather, rain, bad surface conditions, computers malfunctioning. To such race drivers, such perfect storm is also a perfect opportunity to discover and exploit hidden elements of sudden advantage and pull away from the rest of the pack. I personally believe an optimistic and opportunistic approach combined with a culture of employee empowerment and structured innovation can go a long way in preparing us for the unpredictable but exciting times ahead. I believe that the industry should be part of the solution and not watch the problems on the side. There's one personal focus area for me that lends a short and simple answer to this question and also addresses one of the world's most pressing needs today is the intent to create new jobs in both the US and Europe. As part of our strategy of being socially responsible, we have announced publicly that HCL intends to hire 10,000 new people by year 2015 in both these markets. And we will re-aggressively invest in this direction. We believe that there are initiatives like this which will add to our combined ability to better serve these markets, create value, increase the quality of life for our clients, employees, customers, partners, and the society at large, and be considered as socially responsible. Sticking to this vision will present its fair share of challenges to us and to many other corporates who will pursue this vision. But the overwhelming support 
that our initial strides in this direction have received from the government, local agencies, universities of higher education in both the US and Europe is telling us that this is the right thing to do and the right time to take these steps is now to be part of the solution by being socially responsible.